So I saw this uh, clip from Adult Swim the other day. You're actually just a narcissist and a contrarian, and being a vegetarian is about setting yourself apart in order to feel superior to the rest of I, us. I, I, fine, give me the f burger. It's quite funny, right? But the point is this, okay, you can label veganism whatever you like to try and justify your continued killing of animals and eating of meat. You can call us narcissists, you can say, yeah, we do it just to make ourselves feel superior. And, you know, yeah, it does make us feel superior because it makes us feel better because we're not contributing to that death all the time. It's a side effect of what we do. We don't do it to feel superior. We do it because we don't want animals to suffer. Yeah, you know, that might be hard, that compassion for people to get their heads around sometime. And so they try and push vegans down and bring them down to their level and say, oh, you do it because of this. You do it because you're a narcissist rather than why we actually do it is for the compassion. But it does make us feel better. It would make you feel better if you did it. it because you're not contributing to animal suffering. You know, I don't believe animal suffering is a good thing. So when I was eating meat and going down that path, it made me feel bad. It was conflicting with what I believed in, of course. So, you know, meat eaters will use any excuse, label, anything, to try and put vegans on their level and, you know, make it so that, oh, oh, they're doing it for this reason, it's not because they care about the animals. All these excuses, all of them, are just continued reasons to act like a shit to animals. That's it. So rather than waking up and making the switch to veganism, you'd rather just dig your head in the sand and just pretend it's not happening and pretend it happens for this reason or this reason or this reason. And while you're doing that, you're being a complete shit to animals. Congratulations, mate. Good job.